Hi everyone, welcome to another Doug's Lab video. In this video, I have acquired 2.3 kilograms of finely powdered thermite, and uh, we're going to set it off because it's getting close to the 4th of July here in the United States, and it's what we do on the 4th of July. So, I have here a 1 inch thick piece of steel plate, really, really quite solid. Very thick, very heavy, hard to get out into these lovely woods, but we will shortly be attempting to melt through it. What's going to happen is the thermite is going to go in these flower pots. There's going to be a little piece of paper to cover the hole in the bottom of the flower pot. It's going to get filled with thermite, and then the uh, flower pots are going to get placed on top of the steel plates, but spaced up on either side with these wooden blocks, which will allow the molten reaction to pour out the bottom hole in the flower pots, and uh, hopefully cut a hole through this metal. So uh, we're going to light the thermite with magnesium ribbon, which we have on hand, and uh, yeah, if anything, it'll be very spectacular. So let's get it set up and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so we're filling the flower pot full of the thermite. Hopefully we can fit it all. We have to make it uh, settle a little bit. Brought a pokey stick for that. All right, well here's the setup. A little bit of uh, magnesium ribbon on the top to light what, what amounts to a little bit less than 2.3 kilos of thermite, a couple of grams less maybe, just because uh, we had trouble fitting it all in the flower pot, so packing kind of created a little bit of a mess, but should go pretty well regardless. Thermite reaction will start at the top and proceed to the bottom. The flower pots are there to contain it until it hits the holes in the bottom of the flower pot where it will spill out in a molten state and hopefully cut right through that thick piece of steel. And even if it doesn't, it's still going to be something quite spectacular. So, I got my torch for lighting the ribbon and uh, the camera tripod is over there. I will set up the camera and start the reaction. That's incredible. Dude, look. Holy crap. Careful, it's about to fall at the bottom. It didn't even come through the bottom. It didn't. Oh, there it is. There it goes. Oh, wow. That is incredible. Yeah, the rocks are probably exploding because they have water in them. That's ridiculous. That is so hot. Yeah, I don't think we even touched the plate. A lot of it came out on this side. It melted a hole right through the side of the flower pot and started coming out. That is ridiculously hot. Oh, wow. Yeah, we lost a lot out here. I don't even think we, uh, we're probably just going to have a big piece of iron fused to the plate. 
Let me see if I can see underneath it. Yeah, there's nothing right underneath it. That was pretty intense. Yeah. That's like glass from the flower pot. See, it's mm -hmm. it's so weird looking. Oh, it's just splitting now because it's cooling off. Wow. Well, we failed at putting a hole in the plate, but uh, it was pretty cool nonetheless. All right, we'll see what happens, or what has happened after this cools off, which is gonna be a little while. Like lava. It's so hot. All right, well, everything is still kind of cooling, but we've torn it apart, and uh, you can kind of see here, flower pots surprisingly remained intact. We had a bit of an issue that you can probably see in the video, um, that little waterfall come off the side here and pour onto the ground, giving us this nice little artifact here. But we did get a lot that did come through the very bottom of the flower pot, as expected, when the post-it note burned through, and we got, that's what this was, and this flowed off the edge of the metal. Now as for the metal itself, it's, uh, we chipped a bunch of slag off of it, but uh, it's pretty much undamaged except for this big old crater in here, which is still really hot, but compared to my finger, it's, it's pretty big. It's about uh, maybe three-eighths of an inch deep and about an inch across, and that's where the bottom of the flower pot was. So, no, we didn't penetrate the steel, but we did get a pretty cool thermite reaction, and uh, maybe, maybe we can have a thermite redemption video later and actually try and penetrate it with a better designed thermite charge. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.